Welcome back. We're going to return now to the local dance studio that's reeling after a trailer full of equipment was stolen. The Central Valley Stars dance crew had just returned home from a national competition in Las Vegas when the owner says they were targeted by thieves. Now they're racing to rebuild before a recital at Roosevelt High School next weekend. Action News reporter Vince Barra explains why the stolen items mean so much to the dancers. Central Valley Stars Dance Studio has been in business for nearly 20 years. The dance crew had just returned from a national competition when all their props were stolen on Saturday morning. We came back from nationals and the trailer had been at my dad's house for just 12 hours and went out the next morning and it was gone. Mm -hmm. And then go and pretend to open the door because it's not a real door anymore. So you're going to grab it and just let go of it though. Owner Melinda Sharnick Leon says they went door to door asking neighbors if they saw anything unusual. A neighbor did catch the trailer leaving the area. This photo shows the white truck they believe stole it. Sharnick Leon says the hardest part was telling the kids all their props were stolen. They're very disappointed and I can see how broken hearted they are. The studio has a recital coming up in less than a week. Had about 10 different props that um, the girls use for all their different routines. So without some of the props, it really doesn't make the routines work without a lot of practice. One of the props was this revolving door and it took a while to build. It probably took me a good month or so figuring the first from the first one to where I actually got it working. Jeff Sharnick has been building props for about 30 years and because of the recent theft, he's having to go into his archive and repurpose old props like this saddle. This isn't the first time the dance studio has been a victim of theft. Sharnick Leon says they had to put extra security on their back door because of people breaking in. But she adds they will continue to rebuild because it's about making sure the kids are able to live out their passion for performance. And that was Vincy Barra reporting. Sharnick Leon says the stolen props are worth around $3,000, but it's not about the money for her. Right now, her focus is getting everything ready for the recital, which is in about five days. The Fresno Police Department does confirm to Action News it has an active case for the dance studio's stolen props.